This is an old but big buffalo bull. You can see his horns are rounded off a bit. Look at his ears. He looks like he's been fighting Mike Tyson. <laughs> but he's big. Some of these bigger bulls weigh as much as 850 kilos. That is a whole scrum. <laughs> that is eight big men. And he looks at you as though you owe him money. <laughs> and you don't just walk up to him and catch him. <laughs> there are lion prides which hunt buffalo and there are lion prides which don't hunt buffalo. Some of them have hunted them before and they got hurt and they don't want to play anymore. <laughs> There's a pride in Botswana, the top end of the Okavongo Delta, if you know where that is. It's a, it's a marshy area. That is a, the pride there is excellent buffalo hunters. They're hunting an area where there's lots of water and lots of substantial islands and thousands of buffalo. Now we sit behind them. There's seven lionesses in the pride at the moment. They generally hunt the buffalo as they come out of the water. So as these buffalo exit, you watch each lioness. She drops in flat. A lioness can go in like a carpet. There's a friend of mine who says they're flat lionesses and they're very flat lionesses. She looks for perches with the back leg. The whole neck extends like that. The head steadies, the eyes focus, and the lionesses start to shake. Seven lionesses are quivering like this. Sometimes they shift their shoulders. They are so focused on what we would call goals that it is scary. You don't find in the middle of a buffalo hunt, you know, one lioness that suddenly decides to catch war dogs around the side here somewhere. <laughs> And if you're hunting these guys, you must all hunt the same thing. Otherwise, you get killed. You don't get hurt, you get killed. One of the prides I've been following for years, one of the big lionesses got killed two weeks ago by a buffalo. I don't know if you've ever watched lionesses, but they sleep in the heat of the day, and as it gets cooler, they'll walk across to one another, they lick one another like that, that white part on the cheek, they walk past one another, rubbing their cheeks like this. They lie on top of one another. That'd be good for team spirit. Eh? <laughs> but jokes aside, what they have realized is that the tighter this team is bonded together, the better it hunts. And one of their ways of bonding their pride is this physical affection. So I'm not saying you must lie on top of one another. I'm not saying you mustn't either. But what, whatever the culture of your team dictates, you do it. Because teams which are tighter together, they hunt better, they have more fun, they work harder, they're more successful.